Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Film Locations with Devin White. And it's about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, and we're in uh, a very historical place, and uh, almost at the right time. It's October 23rd, 2021, but something that happened even more spectacular was on October 26, 1881. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, we are here in beautiful Tombstone, Arizona. fight at the UK Corral happened. A little early in the morning. People just getting out of bed, walking around, a lot of shops. Just a little tourist, a little tourist in town. Got the old Southern Pacific Railroad, Chamber of Converse, ice cream tattoo parlors. There's bikers here, there's RV people, campers, tourists, everything here. Um, we're gonna do some more exploring, uh, but that is the OK Corral right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now behind it is where the Claytons and the uh, the Earps got into a fight with Doc Holliday. I believe it's behind the actual thing. But we're gonna do some more exploring and uh, stay tuned for more film locations. Okay, we're back now. Um, it's a very small, little quaint little town. Not too many people in it, and it's kind of surrounded by some of these interesting hills, uh, some of these mountains out here. We're we're very close to the Mexican border. Um, very close, probably like 30 minutes away. Um, nothing is open right now. Like again, like I said, it's like seven o'clock in the morning. Um, there's a Tombstone trolley tour, Gunfighter Hall of Fame, the old Tombstone Western Front. This is the Southern Pacific Railroad. I don't know exactly where everything used to be, but it's a pretty interesting little place. Um, now they didn't really film the, the movie Tombstone with Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell here. Um, the actual events historically took place here, but the movie I think was uh, was definitely filmed in Arizona, but it wasn't filmed here. They just rebuilt it. I think they if you look on IMBD, it'll tell you exactly where they filmed it because it was filmed all over Arizona. I think Mesa and all these kind of different places and stuff, and then they reconstructed everything to look like it did in 1881. Um, yeah, almost the turn of the century, 1881, almost the 1900s. Um, cars weren't even invented yet. The Old West was getting pretty tame, or getting tamed as they were doing it. You know, Butch Cass and his son and kid, they were having troubles too. The, the Old West was, was dying. The, the ways of the gunfighter and robbing banks and stuff was just not, it's not having it anymore. Much like the, the, the 1930s, the Great Depression with John Dillinger, just time gets up to everybody. And with new technology, if criminals get smarter, the law gets smarter. But yeah, let's, uh, let's look around some more, and I'll show you some more, so stay tuned. Alright, I'm just sitting here uh, in a very sleepy town, like I said. Um, right here at the very corner here is the Oriental, um, and uh, a lot of confrontations happened there, you know, um, now in the movie, I don't really know, but in the movie, you know, Kurt Russell's character, Wider, gets himself a faro game, which is just gambling uh, with the roulette, I think it's like roulette, basically, a lot of confrontations happen at the Oriental, people get drunk on whiskey and everything, somebody calls somebody a cheat, or blah, 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 some smack talking's going on, and then the guns come out. Now, if you see, here in Arizona, I think it's the right to carry law. You can have a, uh, I don't know about concealed, but you can definitely carry one on your hip. Now, that became a big problem, and it's still a problem today. Uh, here's the tombstone epitaph. If you see on some of these places, it'll say no weapons allowed, um, so you can't, can't carry your gun inside, um, which was one of the things that happened in Tombstone in 1881, which was you can't carry a gun inside the town limits. You could have a gun, you could own one, you could do whatever you want, but you can't carry one in the town. Um, which is a, one, of the, one of the problems and themes in the movie as well. If you watch it, the 1990, 1993 movie with Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell, Sam Elliott, uh, Bill Paxton? Bill Paxton? Yeah. And um, among others. And uh, as you can see, what's pretty interesting is not only these old buildings, but uh, just the surrounding area. If you look 
it's kind of hard, but you can see the kind of mountain range. Very rocky mountain range. Um, and still got the old stuff. You can walk on top of the decks. That's pretty cool. You don't see that many places, maybe New, New Orleans or Louisiana or something like that, but yeah, it's a pretty early morning for old western towns. <laughs> pretty interesting now, but it's it's pretty cool. Probably the coolest town I've ever seen. I've never been to an old west town before, you know, and I'm an actor. And, uh, supposedly there is like a, an, like there used to be an old western town here in Arizona that you would film at, you know, for Hollywood. I think there is a couple of old western towns that are built up in probably the Universal Studios lot and uh, over in Warner Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. I almost did a, I almost did a movie out there once. But, <clears throat> but yeah, pretty intense. Uh, this is, oh, that's Fremont Street. So there's Fremont, Allen. I know Allen's the main one. And there is Main Street, which I think runs parallel through here. Yeah, just check out, look at all these old, like, wooden things, all these old houses, this little wood and everything. It's pretty crazy. Pretty intense. Yeah, well, let's go do some more exploring, and uh, I'll be right back after these messages. Okay, and we're back. Um, we're here at the OK Corral. Right behind me is the City Hall Marshal's office. And then right over here, down here on Fremont, is the OK Corral gunfight site. Now, between those little wooden uh, uh, big tree slats, whatever, that's, that's where inside there is where it'll happen. Now, I don't know. I wasn't there. But uh, there it is. Courthouse is here. Not many cops. Look at that mountain range. Arizona's quite the town. Tombstone called the town too tough to die. A lot of fires burned down some of these buildings. They rebuilt, they rebuilt, and they stayed, and they stayed, and they stayed, and they stayed, and they never, they never, uh, never went away. You can see how this town probably wouldn't have survived, but uh, through tourism and historical events, they kept it alive. And people still work here and live here today. It's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Um, for, for people's tourist information, I'm here at the OK Corral. There's a free parking, you can see here, off of 4th and Fremont, there's free parking right across from the city hall. Um, there's pretty much free parking all around. No one's, this is not like a city, no one's gonna like come and get you or write you a ticket. Um, but there is places where you can't park. Um, like I said, if you do come to Tombstone, um, everybody here is friendly, very nice. Be cordial, smile. Um, Find, find a nice place to park and then uh, go check it out. A lot of places to, to shop and antiques to buy and cool little photographs to take and everything like that. Get your phone out, keep your phones charged, get your cameras. Um, but yeah, everybody's really friendly here and everybody seems to be very helpful. And uh, there's an RV park here, there's a pl uh, plenty of motels. I'm not sure how much they cost, but you should look into that before you come. And there's not much really to worry about or anything that I need to tell you as far as being a tourist or coming to this town. Mostly just um, come, enjoy, have fun. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll probably get some more video footage here in the next few minutes. But uh, until then, uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. And thank you for watching another episode of Film Locations with Devin White. Uh, thank you and enjoy some of these video clips at the end of this video of the historical town of Tombstone. See you. Bonus footage 
I'm inside a, an old railroad car. Pretty interesting. Um, check this out. Here's that building. That building is just right over there. Pretty crazy, huh? Look at that, it's still standing there today. There it is. We're pretty much like right in here. So old sink. That looks a little new. <laughs> they must have went to Bed Bath and Beyond on <laughs> that one. El Paso and Southwestern RR came to Tombstone in 1903. Frank Hitchcock, Postmaster General of the U.S., was the first cabinet member to officially visit Tombstone. He is on the top of the Modoc stage, hand to hand. Interesting. Check out these seats. Yeah, they probably went to Ikea. <laughs> Anybody want some coffee? Look at this though. Look at this. You'd sit up upstairs on that. On that. Wow. Weird. That's pretty nutty. Fuses, fuse box. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Can you imagine riding this back in the day? You step outside for a smoke and just like. Nuts. And there's that building I was telling you about. I don't know what that is. Pretty nutty. Pretty crazy. This is a place where you'd want to get some good chili verde. Chili Colorado. Nice meal. Get a little wet your whistle with some bourbon, whiskey, rum. I don't know if rum was around, but I guess rum was around. Yeah, we were just inside this thing. Well, there's your bonus footage, folks. Yeah, old Tombstone, 1881, 140 years ago. Three days and three days. 140 years, okay, corral shootout. And it's uh, about 78 degrees. It's gonna be about 78 degrees today. So it's not too bad. Um, you know, it's pretty cold this morning. But anyways, all right, stay tuned for some more footage, I guess. Plenty to explore, plenty to see. Anyways.